Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Parties. I'm Yuri Evwin, and maybe we can hide them under here. Hide what? I don't know, but, uh, the school is all weird and funky now. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 back up, back up, hold on. I can feel, no, 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 Japan. I don't have to explain it, right? This is self-explanatory. And it is weird. Yeah, yeah. Which means she did what I think she did. So that's pretty gross too. So Japan. And she's gonna whine. <laughs> That's icky. It's been nothing but earthquakes since, since we got here. I hope the school doesn't fall apart. Or, you know, I hope I don't get hit in the head of a hammer or something. I wonder if my bathroom friend is still in there. Where the hell am I? You know, I'm really glad we kept playing. The exciting adventures. No, I don't have control of you. Where are you going? Come back here! Oh, good! You know, I don't want control over Oh, good. This dynamic duo. Does anything look different to you? No. Let me turn this up to sync the audio. If I even can over this hot jam... Christ. It's crazy party time. There are skeletal remains here. Don't get me wrong, I like the music, I just... To be honest, I kind of want to look the game more if it was like this to begin with. Because the, the music's pretty dope. Oh, so it ends, of course. Okay, we're downstairs, which means it's... Funky fucking ghost time. You're the one... Uh, now, now you're not gonna fucking go crazy, are you? Oh, hey, someone fucking brought it up. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, your erm um, posterior. <laughs> not my posterior. Looks kind of pet. Oh. I don't know. Just look the other way for a minute. Huh? I don't even I don't have my gym bag here, so a change of clothes is out of the question. I could steal the clothes from that dead body up in the upper right there. Or I could take that shiny object! I really don't want to meet up with Machida or the others looking like this, though. So, huh. Sensibility. This is... I should use this to sync up the audio. But I like that this is... I can't take it anymore. I hate this school. Really?! My skirt's ruined. Fuck this place. I can't believe I even wanted to come back to save everyone. Hey, look, shiny. Huh? 
Is there really what? Huh? Oh yeah, she lost her ID. Shinozaki, what happened? Oh, that's who the student was. You stole it, didn't you? You klepto. Or not, whatever. Are right there? You're not a spooky ghost, are you? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, forgive me for being a little bit confused. <laughs> what is this? The Incest Chronicles? What? And I like that this music is just completely inappropriate for this scene. Oh god. Why are you in my room? Go! Exactly. I didn't say all that. I'm weird! Okay, guys. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I can't keep doing this. So, um. I just want to look at it. <laughs> With this music, <laughs> it's so weird. Okay, we got that out of the way. Later! I hate her. I'm a spooky ghost in here! God. Oh, she's creepy! Ow. Owies. It's still pl pitch black in this scene. Must because that earthquake and knocked out all the production value. We ran out of a budget. Oh, there's something in my hand. It's Naomi's severed head. Uh. Uh. Was he just grabbing her boob? I didn't do anything, also. Just saying. No, really, I didn't mean it! You wanna watch TV? Make a snack? Cuddle? And we couldn't show a picture of that, so, you know. Shh. 
sure that's what happened. We'll go with your side of the story. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm a pretty brave guy, you know. I'm always looking out for people, uh, except for you, I don't really, you know. But I'm, I'm not bleeding anymore. Want to take a nap? I was kidding about the TV thing. Though I guess it had to turn on, didn't it? What the hell show is this? Hibiki, Hibiki, it all makes sense. Who are you? Wait, you look just like Kazami. Kibiki. And you have a streak of color in your hair and a fringe, so I approve. Okay, and you smoke weed. Got it. Action! Wait a minute. You know, he looks so much like Kizami. You don't... Well, no, I... Or maybe Kizami is like his father. And then Kizami harbored revenge, and so he somehow uh, tricked his classmates into the other world and killed everyone. I don't know. With this footage, with this film, the occult genre will be completely reborn! It's gonna be like the Blair Witch Project. So let's get started! I think it's about time we killed everyone. I began penning out third strange but true article. Experiencing this place in the fr flesh <laughs> should prove a sufficient enough muse to get the words flowing. In this school building, aren't they? No. Uh, this is actually uh, of this. It's, it's Pokemon, the first movie, VHS. It comes with that Pikachu little special that they had at the beginning of it. So. It's magical. Ah. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's full of ghost kids. <laughs> make a game about this. Also, if you see guys with hammers, watch out. Oh, and if you see someone who looks just like me, watch out, watch out. He's fucked up. With such deliciously dark scenery all around us, I have at least... Oh, jeez. You like the dark? Hmm. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> so, so... Chapter 5 is going to be long, isn't it? We're getting an explanation on everything, or at least most things, I hope. I heard some people say it still ends up being kind of a clusterfuck towards the end. Flash? Is that the real deal? I don't know. You won't show me! It's new! Ah. I'm sure this place accounts for a whole bunch of missing child reports. Really? And here they are, just rotting away. Ah, oh, what kind of hell have we stumbled into? Burr, burr, burr. You're right, we're in danger here. Eh. Glad we're in agreement. Now you said so, a way out, right? A way out. Sorry, I'm a little girl. Hold on. Subtitles had to... They had to catch up. Okay. I don't. I don't like kids. Look, look, look. 
I'm just gonna keep getting closer and closer to you. Count them. Tell me their names. Their parents. Look, Taguchi, you're not helping. We couldn't show it, but you know, it was, I swear to God. Where? This is like watching an actual paranormal show. Huh? Did you guys? I saw something. No. Okay. Is someone here? No. Okay. Are th are there any spooky ghosts in here? I hope not. Wait! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to break the tension. I like that they put the little drum in that though, it's pretty funny, they're making fun of Decade. I don't know why they are. Oh, anyways, I stepped on something and the camera, it's alright, right? Right? Did we get to actually see what's going on? They don't have sprites for these guys, I'm assuming, that's why we're not seeing any of this. As they didn't feel like drawing too many pictures. He's probably okay. Well, that sucked. <laughs> that was terrible. That was the worst movie I've ever seen. It couldn't be the front entrance, could it? That would be far too convenient. I'm taking this TV with me. I'm stealing it. I know TV's heavy. Oh. It's like it's affixed to the TV. <laughs> Which means I guarantee something will be chasing us while we try and do that. A save point, of course. There's a notebook inside the cabinet. Custodian's log. Excitement right here. Notice confi confinement tour has been cancelled. Custodians. The safety of the con. Wait. The safety of the confined students could not be guaranteed. Apologies to those who have already been confined. I pray for your continued good health. The cabinet below the sink is ajar, but there seem doesn't seem to be anything inside. Every day up through November 18, 1975 is marked off with an X. It's an old beat-up kettle. Right, Naomi? Hey, it's a chair. It's an old space heater that's a chair. Okay. Huh. Did someone redecorate? Change is scary! Guess that wasn't just an earthquake after all. Redecoration. Let's go find a save point, come on. What? I, look, we don't really have time for that. We better make out, it's the only way to remove them. Oh, 
thank God. So first I'll save, and then I'll read that sheet of paper. <laughs> Turn it down, this fucking jamming soundtrack. Strange but true, Stories of the Occult, Chasing Down the Hidden Pass of the Cursed School, Building Part 3, by Ko Kibiki. Thanks for taking a truly frightful turn, dear readers. I stand now at the brink of a new age for Occult World. Nothing will ever be the same again. I wonder if it will even be possible to convey in words the significance of where I'm standing at this very moment. Prepare yourselves for a report unlike any other, for I am presently within the accursed school building inside Heavenly Host Elemente. And it's all thanks to my highly skilled protege, Naho Sanoki. Many of you know the name. She has the ability to commune with spirits, and it's through these connections that a way has been devised. A means of accessing this sacred ground, together with my faithful cameraman, Taguchi, who won't run away like a little bitch. I have made use of this method to see these cursed halls with my own eyes. I have set foot into a school building that should no longer exist. A forbidden land of the dead. In addition to this article, Takaguchi. Oh, why do I want to call him Takaguchi? And I will also. Be, 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 I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. It may seem odd. Naho's mentor, the occult writer. Call Kibiki. Investigator writer. In as much as you can call it Spook Mac. Anyways. He obviously came here solely to get his hands on a big scoop. That man would wake the dead if he could write about it afterwards. Words. This is a whole cutscene, huh? I didn't realize the girl with the dead fish eyes had a mentor. We're learning things. Kibiki's choice of words in this article suggests he came here of his own volition. Naho made it sound the same way for her, too. Then there's that first blue ghost we spoke with. Of s he said we were all trapped here with the cursed children. But of course, little girl Yuki said that she wasn't responsible, so that leaves only one response. We're here because we flubbed. We flubbed it. We flubbed the Sachiko after 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 charm. It's actually actually you know if you want to think about it, it's all Ayumi's fault. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Actually, if we just would have skipped it altogether, you fucking bitch. Or not at all. It is all your fault. I hate you. Well, you couldn't, but that doesn't change the fact that you fucked up. Now does it? Okay, you see what you're doing is, you're thinking in hindsight. You know what I'm saying? Don't beat yourself up over at Shinozaki. I'm sure I can find Naho here somewhere, she can do. This came out of left field though, none of us could have possibly known. We didn't look up a guide. You should be. don't even remember who those people are. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, the first step is admitting it, so. And... Yeah. It's a large door covered in protective charms. Okay, we're 24 minutes in, so I think I think we're going to end this part of Let's Play Corpse Friday. I was not expecting that piece of paper to lead into a little dialogue there. This music is still very upbeat and catchy. Um, uh, I probably am going to take a break from Corpse Party now. I think I've been decent at playing the game uh, compared to, uh, well... How I was doing. Um, obviously, 
I could be better, but you know, this game scares me, so we'll try. Uh, up next, uh, I don't know. At some point, I'll record dot hack. I also want to play Pokemon Blue, and whenever I also have to remember to upload those parts of Resident Evil 4 and Persona 3. Uh, so I'll get to all that stuff eventually. Not sure what I'll do first. I might do Pokemon first. I don't know yet. But everything will happen eventually. Uh, thanks for watching, though. And I'll see you next time on Let's Play Corpse Party.